Every single day, over 3 million LEGO bricks are made melted, molded, measured, and boxed inside some of the most precise factories on the planet. That's more than 2,000 bricks every minute, over 35 every second. Each one has to be perfect. Same shape, same clutch power, same bold, iconic color. Because a brick made today has to fit one made 40 years ago, with zero margin for error. This isn't just toy manufacturing, it's industrial engineering with childlike creativity at its core. So how do they do it? How does a factory make millions of Lego bricks, flawless, color matched, and click perfect every single day? Let's step inside the Lego factory and see how the world's most famous building blocks are born. Lego isn't just a toy, it's a system. Every brick ever made, going back to 1958, is designed to fit every other brick perfectly. That's over 60 years of cross-compatibility. And it all comes down to one word, precision. Each Lego brick is manufactured to a tolerance of just 0.002 millimeters. That's 20 times thinner than a human hair. This is what gives Lego its legendary clutch power. The satisfying snap when two bricks connect and the firm hold that keeps them locked in place. This level of accuracy means no warping, no wobbling, no forced connections. Whether you're stacking a skyscraper or building a spaceship, the pieces behave exactly as expected. And that's not accidental. Behind the scenes, LEGO has developed one of the most advanced plastic molding operations in the world, because making millions of identical parts isn't easy. The material, the machines, the molds, everything must be dialed in with factory-grade precision. Because a single micron too much, and the brick is too tight. A micron too little, and it's too loose. Perfection isn't just the goal, it's the standard. At the heart of every Lego brick is a thermoplastic called ABS, acrylonitrile butadiene styren. It's not just any plastic, ABS is tough, rigid, and resistant to heat and impact. It's the perfect material for a toy that's meant to be stepped on, thrown, chewed, and built into a hundred shapes a day. The plastic arrives at Lego factories in the form of tiny pellets, raw, uncolored, and ready to be transformed. Each pellet is about the size of a grain of rice. Color is added using highly concentrated master batches, custom pigment formulas that ensure Lego's iconic reds, blues, yellows, and greens stay vibrant and consistent across every single brick, regardless of where or when it's made. Lego uses over 60 different colors, and each one is tightly controlled to match exact visual standards. But it's not just about looks. The plastic must also meet rigorous safety standards. Every compound is tested for toxicity, durability, and how it reacts to temperature and light over time. Nothing enters the molding machines unless it passes every quality check. In fact, LEGO even rejected entire batches of material if there's a slight variance, because in a system where every piece has to fit every other piece, consistency isn't optional. It's the first step in a process where every fraction of a millimeter matters. Once the plastic pellets are mixed with their master batch color, they're funneled into an injection molding machine. Essentially a high-tech pressurized oven and hydraulic clamp rolled into one. Inside, the ABS is heated to around 230 degrees centigrade, hot enough to melt it into a thick, honey-like liquid. A rotating screw drives the molten plastic forward, building pressure. Then, in a split-second motion, it's injected into a precision-engineered steel mold. This mold is where the magic happens. Each mold contains cavities shaped exactly like Lego bricks, sometimes dozens at a time. Once filled, the mold is cooled by internal water channels to solidify the plastic quickly, then the bricks are ejected onto a conveyor belt with robotic arms or air jets. The entire process, melting, injecting, cooling, and ejecting, takes just 10 seconds. And it happens millions of times a day. LEGO operates thousands of these machines across its global factories. Each one is calibrated to deliver exact pressure, temperature, and cooling time for a specific part. Some molds are for basic 2x4 bricks. Others produce rare curved slopes or complex hinge pieces. The molds themselves are works of art, cut from steel, polished to near-mirror smoothness, 
and engineered to tolerances tighter than those used in automotive manufacturing. One mold can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to make and must be capable of producing millions of perfect parts before it's retired. Because once that hot plastic is injected, there's no second chance. The brick must come out perfect every time. When you're making millions of parts a day, even the tiniest deviation can create chaos. That's why LEGO treats mold maintenance like a science. Every mold is logged, tracked, and inspected regularly. Technicians clean and polish the mold surfaces to ensure every cavity remains flawless. Any hint of wear, scratch, or warping, and the mold is pulled for service or replaced entirely. But the real power lies in quality control. Every brick that comes off the line is subject to strict visual and mechanical inspections. Automated cameras scan each piece for blemishes, warping, or color mismatches. Robots apply pressure to test clutch power, ensuring that each brick grips just right, not too loose and not too tight. Bricks that fail these tests are immediately rejected and ground back into raw plastic to be remelted. Nothing is wasted. LEGO's defect rate is astonishingly low just 18 defects per million bricks produced. That's a 0.00018% error rate. In industrial manufacturing, that's considered world-class. Why such extreme precision? Because a single imperfect brick can ruin an entire build. And when the brand's reputation rests on flawless fit and finish, compromise simply isn't an option. Every part that passes quality control is ready for the next phase turning bricks into characters, vehicles, and entire worlds. Not all LEGO bricks are plain. Many feature eyes, logos, buttons, control panels, or tiny symbols that add personality and purpose. These details aren't painted by hand. They're applied using a high-speed, high-precision process called pad printing. A soft silicone pad presses ink from an etched plate onto the brick's surface, kind of like a rubber stamp, but with micron-level accuracy. Multiple pads can apply different colors and layers, perfectly aligned. This is how a minifigure gets its face, how a console tile displays readouts, or how a LEGO Stormtrooper gets its armor. LEGO uses only the highest grade inks, resistant to fading, scratching, or wear. Each ink is tested for chemical stability and color fastness. Because a LEGO face shouldn't wear off after a few days of play, some elements, especially highly detailed ones like collectible figures, are laser printed for even sharper results. And every printed piece goes through another round of inspection to ensure alignment and clarity. This attention to detail is why LEGO avoids using stickers on key parts. Stickers peel and fade. Print lasts for decades. Because when kids build, every detail matters. Once bricks are molded, cooled, inspected, and decorated, they're ready to become part of a set. But getting the right bricks into the right box is its own engineering challenge. Each LEGO set contains dozens, or even hundreds, of different parts in exact quantities. To manage this, the factory uses a system of sorting silos and automated counting machines. Bricks are funneled into hoppers, weighed or counted by optical sensors, and dropped into bags, each one representing a specific stage of the build. Bag 1 might include minifigures and a base plate. Bag 4 might contain all the roof tiles. This helps builders progress step by step. To ensure accuracy, automated scales check the total weight of each bag to detect any missing or extra pieces. If a bag is even a gram off, it's pulled for manual inspection. Once all bags are verified, they're loaded into boxes, along with the printed instruction manual, and sealed by machine. Packaging is also optimized for shipping. Boxes are designed to minimize airspace, reduce damage, and stack efficiently on pallets. By the time a LEGO set leaves the factory, it's been touched by dozens of systems, all synchronized to ensure every piece is exactly where it needs to be. Because the last thing you want is to be missing the final piece of the Millennium Falcon. While standard bricks make up the bulk of LEGO production, some of the most beloved parts are also the most intricate, minifigures, accessories, and specialized elements. Minifigure parts like heads, torsos, and legs are molded just like bricks, but often in smaller batches. Once printed with expressions, uniforms, or logos, they're sent to assembly lines where machines, or sometimes people, 
click arms into torsos, legs onto hips, and heads onto necks. Accessories like capes, swords, hairpieces, or helmets are packaged alongside the figures or inserted into special bag compartments to keep them from bending or scratching. LEGO even produces unique elements for licensed sets, like wands for Harry Potter or lightsabers for Star Wars. These often require custom molds and color combinations, adding complexity to the production process. Not every part is made in every factory. Some highly detailed or regional components are produced in specialized facilities, then shipped to assembly plants for final packaging. Despite the variety, every element is held to the same tolerance, same material quality, and same safety testing. Because whether it's a 2x4 brick or a pirate hook, every piece has to feel like LEGO. Once the LEGO sets are boxed and sealed, they're not just thrown onto trucks, they're routed through a finely tuned global supply chain. LEGO ships to over 140 countries, and to make that happen smoothly, it operates massive distribution centers in key locations, like Denmark, the Czech Republic, the US, and China. Each facility uses automated storage and retrieval systems, rows of towering shelves serviced by robotic cranes that fetch pallets of LEGO sets on command. Orders from retailers and distributors are logged, picked, packed, and shipped with military precision. Every box is scanned and tracked. Inventory is updated in real time, and climate controls ensure that temperature and humidity never affect the quality of the bricks, especially the color integrity of long-term shelf stock. LEGO's logistics system is so efficient that some factories are co-located with distribution hubs, reducing transport time from production line to loading dock. This tight integration between manufacturing and distribution allows LEGO to respond quickly to demand spikes, like during holidays or major product launches. Whether it's a small creator set heading to a toy store in Spain, or a collector's UCS Millennium Falcon going to Japan, every shipment leaves the factory with the same promise. Perfect bricks. On time. Anywhere in the world. LEGO has never been content to just rest on its bricks. In recent years, the company has invested heavily in sustainability and innovation to future-proof its manufacturing process. One major shift is the move toward bio-based plastics. LEGO has already started producing some plant-based elements, like trees and leaves, from polyethylene made from sustainably sourced sugarcane. The goal? To make all core products from sustainable materials by 2032. Another area of focus is energy efficiency. Several LEGO factories run on renewable power, including on-site solar and wind installations. Manufacturing waste is being reduced year over year, and closed-loop water systems are now standard in molding facilities. LEGO is also experimenting with AI-powered defect detection, using machine learning to spot flaws in bricks faster and more accurately than human inspectors. And 3D printing? It's already being used in prototyping. In the future, it could allow hyper-custom parts to be created on demand for short-run sets or limited editions. But perhaps the biggest innovation is invisible to most customers. Modular molding systems that can be quickly retooled for new parts, allowing for faster product development and more variety. The future of LEGO isn't just colorful, it's smart, sustainable, and endlessly creative. Every time you snap two LEGO bricks together, you're feeling the result of decades of engineering, innovation, and precision. Behind that satisfying click is a process that spans continents, melting raw plastic, molding it to microns, decorating it with ink, and boxing it for millions of builders around the world. Over 3 million bricks a day, billions every year, and each one held to the exact same standard. Because LEGO isn't just about what you build, it's about how it's built. So next time you open a box, take a moment to appreciate what's behind it. The factory, the science, and the legacy of perfect pieces made to last a lifetime.